Very good. Um, well, what we do at First Light, um, we have a new method for inertial fusion. I think it's important to put it that way because we're not saying we're making up new physics here. Uh, we're trying to create the same states of matter as, as any inertial fusion, but it's a new method for doing that. And this is the simple, stupid diagram to explain it. So uh, we call it projectile fusion. In the literature, um, uh, people talk about impact fusion, so it's kind of similar to that. Um, so basically, we, we launch a high-velocity projectile, which then hits into our target, uh, and that replaces the laser. And the reason we want to do that um, is because um, it can be much more energy efficient, and the machine required is much simpler than the large lasers required. So we want to electromagnetically launch the projectile, and I will show you a picture of our electromagnetic launcher later. Um, for the projectile, um, the most important thing is velocity. Now, if we make comparison to the laser world, um, velocity is more like the power, whereas the kinetic energy is, is, is like the energy in the laser. Uh, for us right now, our goal is to get to demonstrating fusion from one of our targets uh, for the first time. Right now, we have plenty of energy, but it doesn't get delivered fast enough. So for us right now, velocity is the most important thing. Ultimately, it's the kinetic energy is as, as well. You need to have enough energy to get to gain. You need to have enough energy. Um, and then the projectile hits into um, uh, the target or the fuel pellet. Um, and this is where our kind of clever secret source lives. So uh, the target has to work effectively with that one-sided drive, that one-sided impact, which obviously is a big difference uh, between uh, both NIF and, um, and MAGLIF. So uh, if it's a spherical implosion, maglev is a cylindrical implosion. We have really complicated implosions driven from one side um, that nevertheless can get to very high temperatures and densities. But unfortunately, we keep all of that as trade secrets. So whilst I'd really love to talk about it, <laughs> um, I'm afraid I can't. So um, I'm going to be describing the science that we do that goes into understanding that system. Rather, I can't talk about the system itself. Um, I will say one thing about what the targets do. Um, uh, one of the things they do is they multiply the velocity of the projectile. So if you hit velocity 1, something somewhere in the target implodes at a higher velocity than that. And our experimentally demonstrated record velocity multiple is 10.2. Um, and that's the big difference from the previous uh, impact fusion work. They didn't have that uh, multiple. Um, yeah, and before I move on from kind of introduction, uh, I just wanted to show this. So this is our um, mission statement. Solve the problem of fusion power with the simplest machine possible. I, kind of, I wanted to bring this up because I want to make it clear that our mission statement is not solve the problem of fusion power with projectile fusion. It's just that we think that is the simplest way possible at the moment. And there is a compromise there because the target physics is actually harder. Um, but we think that the onward pathway to the reactor is easier, so on balance. This is the approach we're pursuing right now until we discover something simpler or we discover it's not going to work. And then we'll have to switch to something else. 